Ah, good. You have the makings of an excellent apprentice developer, and you make me very happy by doing this lesson. Code formatting is the dishwashing of the program world. Everyone hates it, but doing it right and doing it consistently is very important. With a few exceptions, Joomla adheres to the pair coding standard. I'm going to walk you through most of the parts of this standard and highlight where we differ. Under indenting is our most controversial deviation. In Joomla, we always indent with true tabs, not spaces. We have no strict rules about the line length, but about 120 characters seems to be a reasonable goal. For control structures, we adhere to the guidelines, but in a switch statement, we indent the case statements under the switch, which pair optionally allows. The main thing to watch is that there is no space between, for example, the if and the opening bracket. Class definitions are as per the standards. Make sure that the opening brace goes on a new line. For function calls, we also adhere to the guidelines. The thing to watch here is that there is no space between the function name and the opening bracket. Function calls are the same as classes. Make sure the opening brace is on a new line. I really like arrays split up on their own lines. I think it's more readable. For commenting, I personally use the C block comments only for the doc blocks. And if I'm making notations in the code, I tend to use a single line double slash, even if it's a multi-line comment. That's just a personal preference, but whatever the case, we don't use this Perl style hash comments. Always use full PHP code tags. Don't use the shorthand version because not all servers support them. I should also note here that for all files except layouts, we don't include the closing PHP tag at the end of the file. The reason is sometimes the files are included before the session has started, and if there is any accidental white space at the end of a file, it can cause you problems. Doc blocks are very important. You need to have a doc block at the top of every file. You need one as a header for every class, every property and method in a class, and for every function call. Always define your function and class method arguments as you write your function. Don't leave it for later, because later never arrives, and by that time you've forgotten what they were supposed to do anyway. As we progress into the coding lessons, we'll look at doc blocks in detail. Name conventions are a bit hit and miss in the core of Joomla, but when writing new code for extensions, let's get into the habit of following the standard where we can. The biggest change compared to earlier versions of Joomla is that the underscore is now only used for private class properties and methods. Class naming, however, is generally done without underscores. File formats must use the UTF-8 encoding and must have Unix line endings. Yes, this makes it look a bit funny in WordPad, but I'll argue to the death that the problem is the people that use WordPad, not the line endings. Here again, I'll point out that we don't close the PHP tags at the end of the file to eliminate the risk of stray white space creeping into the output at the wrong time. Try to be PHP E strict as possible, which is not to be confused with the MySQL strict mode nor the HTML standard. Pair is a bit light on with best practices, but the ones that are there I agree with. Use new lines to help make your code more readable. And although my high school teacher taught me otherwise, we do try to return early to save on excessive indenting. It does make it look a lot neater. OK, so that's code formatting. Thanks for hanging in there. I know it's a dry topic, but once you develop good habits in this area, you'll start looking at other people's code differently, or even your own that you wrote last week. Enough of the theory. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how best to set up Joomla for debugging and development. Don't miss it. See you back soon.